Uh, it's difficult in a short time that I've had to prepare this to find the music that is perfectly appropriate. But this is suggestive, and I'm going to say something about that in general later. It's all right that philosophers should argue with each other. I'm not going to quarrel with that either. But from my standpoint, the more I look at it, the more the extraordinary variety of human opinions and ways of life becomes comparable to a flower garden where these plants and trees and worms and birds and snails and slugs are playing all kinds of different games. Now, some of you may be unaccustomed to this idea because I see some new faces here. Uh, but it's my fundamental philosophy that the universe is essentially a game. But we use the word game or we use the word play in varying senses and it may give the wrong impression because the universe is a game. The universe is a game. The universe is a game. Very often people assume that when such a word is used, it indicates something trivial. As we say, it's only in play, or only a game. And then when you consider what an appalling amount of suffering the universe contains, one wants to feel that it's worthwhile. You see, either you must take the point of view that if there is this deplorable suffering, the universe is one hell of a mess. And the only response that you can make to it is to do battle. Or you may say, no, it isn't really a mess. Somehow all this suffering amounts to something in the end. It creates energies. It's a kind of a process like an oyster suffering to mature a pearl. The universe is a game. And therefore, people who feel bothered about that can't quite emotionally contain the idea that it's all a game. Because then, if that were so, I would be the sport of some cosmic process, whether God or whatever, that plays with me as a child might torture an insect, a butterfly, by pulling off its wings or burning it with a magnifying glass, with the sun, or something like that. Only 
as uh, I will develop it, we shall see that there is no system in which somebody tortures and somebody else is tortured. In my view of the world, which is semi-Buddhist, semi-Hindu, uh, the creator and the creature are one. And all beings whatsoever are the masks and plays and ploys of the central self. There is just this self which uh, plays itself through all forms, through all of us, endlessly. So if you look upon the different forms of life, human, animal, insect, plant, or whatever, as comparable to mazurkas, waltzes, rumbas, charlestons, twists, whatever, or to poker, bridge, backgammon, or if you want to get more highbrow, you can charity, symphonies, partitas, fugues, and so on. You can see that everything is a way of dancing. And so this also applies to people's different religious attitudes. There is the Baptist game, you see? The Roman Catholic game, the Bible game, the ritual game. These are all ways of doing a dance, but the religious ones have a way of trying to express some sort of fundamental attitude to everything that there is. Now, I was thinking about this in New York recently. Uh, my wife and I attended a very marvelous ceremonial, which is held in Holy Week. And, uh, it's